most people, their daily routine doesn't consist of more than going to work or school, but for Julie Fontana, this isn't the case. Every day, she cares for over 35 disabled and abandoned cats that have been living in her home. Why does she do this, you ask? Julie runs a not-for-profit business out of her house that is responsible for rescuing cats and putting them up for adoption. She's been running her business since 1997 and has spayed and neutered dozens of cats. One of her main responsibilities is caring for injured cats by giving them medicine each day and taking them to veterinary appointments. Although most cats Julie rescues get adopted, she saves many cats that have special needs and cares for them for the remainder of their lives. People, when they want to adopt, they usually look for a little little kitten, a little fuzzy warm kitten, and they necessarily don't want one that has problems. Because a lot of people work. So if you have a, you adopt a cat or a kitten, you, if you're working all day long and this kitten or cat has special needs, then you can't take care of it. So it's kind of tough to find homes for them. So we end up with a lot of special needs kitties. But not everyone is happy with the work Julie has been doing. The city of Pompano Beach is suing her for violating a municipal ordinance that states it is illegal for anyone to own more than eight cats or dogs in their household at once. The battle has been going on since July 2019, and Julie is currently being represented by White's law firm. The law firm isn't known for taking on criminal defense cases, but lead attorney of the case, Maxwell Earn, told us why he decided to make the exception. And based off of the order that the judge had issued last time and the discussions that Ms. Fontana had with the council, it was pretty much given her the only solution was to take the animals to an animal shelter that is a kill shelter in Broward County or have them put down on her own. And at that point, I kind of felt like it was an obligation to at least make sure she had some form of representation at the next proceeding. And as a result, we've continued representing her throughout. When Julie first bought her house in 1996, the area she lived in was considered unincorporated Broward and wasn't annexed into the city of Pompano Beach until 2004. Although she should be grandfathered into the municipal ordinance, the city is still charging her. And even though the ordinance excludes businesses such as Julie's, the city claims that she wasn't recognized as an official not-for-profit until 2012, after the annexation. Despite this, Julie just wants the best for her cats and wants to continue to save lives. They're just beautiful pets to have, and, and that's why we're fighting so hard to, to stay where we are and keep doing what we do and take care of them. Next to me is the North Regional Courthouse, which is located in Deerfield Beach. This is where the hearings for the Fontana versus City of Pompano Beach cases have been taking place. There has been no final decision yet, however, the next hearing is scheduled to take place in 30 to 45 days. I'll keep you updated with all the information for the case. This is Mariana Larson reporting for PTVI News.